Welcome to Yukanic. Today here in Yukanic we have a 2018 Toyota RAV4 and on this Toyota RAV4 we happen to have a check engine light on and so we're going to go over the process of checking what that engine light is and also that the symptom with the check engine light on is that when we give it the gas we got a little loss of power and we also um, the um, the RPMs are, are fluctuating. Right? So we have an OBD2 scanner hooked up. This is a Ucanic OBD scanner. And then we're going to hit diagnostic. It's going to communicate with our ECU. And then we're going to, yes, and we've got our check engine light on. We're going to read the codes. We're going to see what stored codes we have in here. And we have the one stored code of a P0013. And it also gives us a small description of the B camshaft position actuator circuit, right? So we're going to go look at the camshaft B sensor, and we're going to see that everything looks good there. And if, if everything looks good there, we're going to go through the process to re replace that. And then we will delete the code, and we'll have to see if the light comes back on. And so we're going to start with the sensors first, and if there's other issues, then we'll have to work on that another day. Okay, so on this 2.5 motor, our, our um, camshaft position actuators are on the what would be the right side of the motor, or the side where your belts are, the serpentine belt. And it is right here. This is the B actuator, and the A actuator is right here under this black piece. So if you had the one for A, we would go and do A, and we've got the one for B. It also corresponds with the same ones for the camshaft position sensor, but this is the camshaft position actuator. And so we're going to go over the process of how you would replace this to rule this out to start with, and if the light comes back on, then we'd have to do further diagnostic. So we're going to pop this cover off and set that to the side, and then we'll want to unclip this connector here. And you may want to use a screwdriver to allow you to get some extra leverage there. Not too much, but just enough to get the clip to come undone. And then we'll need a uh, size 10 to get that. So we'll take a size 10 wrench and turn that over counterclockwise, and then we'll be able to loosen and remove that and then just gently with your screwdriver we can uh, pull that sensor out and be able to pull the whole sensor out and this is what it looks like and then we'll get a new one to be able to put in there so we've got our new one or we've got the new one to put in and then we're just gonna get it to go in there and then just slide it in and we want to make sure that the o-ring on the old one came out but also that when we put the o-ring in that it slides it in to the the hole and doesn't get up here and, and pinch and so if you put it in maybe put a little oil on the o-ring itself so that it's lubed up and then just place it in there and then you'll be able to Put the bolt in and tighten that up just snug not crazy and now we'll make sure we put that electrical connector back on until it snaps in and we can put our cover back on and now we'll go clear the code and start to see that it doesn't come back immediately but we also will be driving the car you know, and, and just check for the next few days and make sure that that light doesn't come back on. So we're in the vehicle. We have got a key in the on position. Engine's not started. And we're gonna go into the scanner and we're gonna go to the stored codes and we're gonna just enter. And we're gonna back up and we're going to erase those codes. And it says that the codes have been erased And now we'll start. And so the check engine light has indeed not come back on immediately. And
the response from the fuel pedal is giving us the proper response that we want it to. But we'll also see that the light is not on. But you can sit here, you'll start it quite a few times, a handful of times, and then just your regular driving down the road, um, take it for a test. Yeah, you just take it for a test drive and make sure that everything doesn't come on immediately. And we can rule out that if it doesn't, then it was just a sensor. But if it does come back on, then it could just, it could be something else that we need to look into more deeply. So thank you for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.